Tenatato Katoa, good evening. After six days, the record smashing rain has moved on from Auckland, leaving behind residents still reeling from how easily our biggest city was overrun and left at the mercy of unstoppable flooding. It is attempting to return to normal. Schools can open again tomorrow. The government's tried to soften the financial pain with a continuation of cheaper fuel and public transport. But neighbourhoods have once again been left devastated by flooding and roads and houses are still collapsing down hillsides about as stable as porridge, including in Orua Bay in Afitu Peninsula, where three people were injured. Alice Wilkins begins our coverage. From the air, you can barely make out what remains of a flattened house. The muddy slip carved out of the cliff behind this coastal property is what sent it crashing down the bank and onto the beach, reducing someone's home to rubble. There was two people injured and a person unaccounted for in the property and, and turned out to be trapped. As the two injured were wrapped in blankets, assessed and assisted on the sand, Local Afitu firefighters were the first to begin the efforts to help bring the third person out to safety. Bystanders helped get out the first two people and the last person was trapped, but all the services came together. Pretty sobering for what we've been seeing and um, yeah, today was a, a pretty horrible, horrible confronting day. The rescue made even more difficult and technical because of particularly challenging conditions on the beach. The trapped patient was actually about a metre below the tide line with an incoming tide. Auckland International Airport sent a hovercraft to help fire and emergency assisted by a geotechnician and a structural engineer. And in less than an hour, the third person was out. We had that uh, completed within about 40 minutes, so all are safe now. As the injured were taken to Middlemore Hospital, locals raced in to help with the clean-up, relocating the smashed-up red car that had been parked outside the property and collecting broken and buckled pieces of house. I think we've got a couple more tractor and trailers coming, so we'll, we'll, we'll go to the end, or unless the tide beats us. A very lucky escape from the chaos after the storm. Alice Wilkins, News Hub. Well, Kethiki Masalamani is at Urua Bay. And Kethiki, what can you tell us about the people who were inside the house? Mike, locals have told us that it's a family from Australia. They arrived in New Zealand just yesterday and they were here at a batch hoping for a holiday, getting anything but. We've also spoken to the local MP, Andrew Bailey, and he says this is one of around 20 houses in his electorate that have been affected by the bad weather. And it's not just houses, it's also rural property where produce is grown. He says that one farm, around 40 acres, has been flooded out. Mike. Kithiki Masalamani live at Urua Bay. Thanks very much.